In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix CSGO not launching from Steam. Now, there's multiple reasons you might be facing this error, and there's multiple ways you can go ahead and try and fix it. So, follow along the video and try to go through each step just to see if it works, and eventually one of them should work. So, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you want to go ahead and try is to check that the files are working properly. So, to do that, you want to make sure you've got Steam loaded up. And go over to CSGO here and you want to go ahead and right click it and then go down to where it says properties. Now from here you want to go down to where it says installed files and you want to go ahead to this bottom section here that says verify the games files are correctly installed. So verify integrity of game files. Essentially what you can do is click this, it's going to go through every single file to do with the game and this might take you know 5 up to 10 minutes to do this but it's going to make sure that every single file is working properly and it's going to make sure that none of them are corrupted. If there are any corrupted files this could be giving you the error, it could give you stuff like black screens, crashing, that kind of thing. So it's going to check to make sure all the files are working. Now if the files are not working it's going to ask you if you want to restore them or fix them. Of course you want to go ahead and do that. Um, also it might get you to go ahead and do some kind of update so go ahead and do that. Now this is solution number one, this generally is going to help a lot of people but if not then there's some more stuff you can go ahead and do. The next thing I'd recommend doing is right clicking on here, going to manage and going to browse local files. So inside here, these are going to be all the files to do with CSGO. Um, there's going to be lots of different sort of files that you might want to take a look at. So go into where it says game. And first of all, you want to go into bin, win64 here. And the first thing I'd recommend trying is going to the CS2 window here right clicking it and running it as an administrator. Sometimes that can help. Now you can also go into where it says properties and you can go through here and you can change some of the settings if you want to, fill around with it. But one we want to go ahead and try out is go to compatibility and go to run this program in compatibility mode for and try each of these different options. So try Windows Vista, apply, okay, try and run it. Go through all these options and see if that helps. Now if none of those help, then you can just deselect that, apply it and put it back to the normal settings. Um, and that that will obviously not help but that could have been one of the ways. Now I'd also recommend going through all of the different files so go to bin and just check if there's any files called cache. They can store cache files in weird places so if you go through every single folder look for the cache ones you might find that there's a cache file which is basically stopping it from loading there might be some weird cache in there so you can go ahead and delete that if you need to. Now, if those don't help, I would recommend going ahead and just uninstalling the game here. You have to uninstall it from your device and then you can go ahead and reinstall it. And usually that's going to help. Now, it's a last resort because obviously you have to reinstall the game and that can take a while depending on your internet speeds. But that way should help it out. I'd also recommend just trying to restart your computer first and your internet before doing any of that. Um, if those don't help, then you can speak to Steam support and they might be able to troubleshoot for you. But that's basically how you go about doing it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below that helped, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about Counter-Strike or any other game in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.